Lex's Dirty Maintenance Show. A sweet power slide. <laughs> Ooh, had to hit you with the old school intro. Got a blank thermostat. It's gonna be low voltage. Low voltage. Check the floater. Dry. All right, check the fuse. Let's see. Yeah, the old fuse is blown. See the black mark in the middle there. We got us a low voltage short. I got it. Ugh. All right, this is gonna be fun. Use my pro short tool on this one. I'll show that to you. All right, I got my short pro tool gizmo hooked up. If the light is on, that means you still got a short. If the light is off, the short is fixed. And you just put one lead on one side of the fuse terminal and the other lead on the other side. Alright, now we saw something fishy down by the condenser so we're gonna start there. Yeah, this is down here by the condenser. This right here looks a little fishy so I'm gonna peel this tape off and get a better look. You know, the long care guys come around here with their weed eaters and just whacking it and they don't care so I'm gonna take a look at this. All right, I don't know who did this, but there's no exposed copper or anything, nothing touching. We're just gonna go upstairs and take it wire for wire. All right, dudes, I'm gonna take it wire for wire. You just pull the wires out of the thermostat. The red, this is a heat pump. So the red is the power coming to it. The yellow goes outside to the contactor, the condenser, and the green is the air handler fan and the orange is the reversing valve. Leave everything else in the thermostat. Don't put your common in there or you're liable to trans or short the transformer or pop the fuse. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wire nut red to green. That should kick on my air handler fan. If everything's still good, I'm gonna put the yellow in. And then if everything's still good and running, I'm gonna put the reversing valve together. Turn the power on, that should kick on the air handler fan. Light is off, so no short. All right, we're good so far. Now I'm gonna wire nut red, green, and yellow. That'll be my condenser, the yellow wire. We'll turn my condenser on. All right, now I've got red, green, and yellow wire nutted. Again, the yellow wire goes out to the contactor and turn the, turns the condenser on. So there's my short. So once I put the yellow wire in, I got a short. So I'm thinking it's gonna be the contactor. There's my contactor here. I'm gonna ohm it out, see if it's good. The power's off, I turned the breaker off. Pull the wires off and ohm it out. my memory serves me correct should get about 18 19 ohms all right a moment out the contactor and it's reading good 19 ohms and for you new guys you just put one lead on this side and one lead on the terminal on this side and get your readings I was reading 19 all right, we got an intermittent short, meaning that it happens sometimes. 
it just ran for a little while and then shut off. So I think we've got a bad connection. I chopped this crap out of there and just wire netted the yellow together. We think the landscapers did this. Like they chopped it by accident and then came over here and did this. We've been over here a thousand times and never seen this. So let's see. We're on the third floor too, Skid. And ain't nobody gonna be running no thermostat wire down three flights of stairs today. Oh, loud. It's showing immediate short. All right, as soon as I plugged it in, boom, short. It's gotta be on the, the yellow wire. We must have a break somewhere. Well, I guess we will have to use this black wire as the yellow wires. All right, dudes, all I'm doing is taking this black thermostat wire that's not being used, and I'm going to pull the, the yellow out that's running down to the condenser and just do away with it. Do away with the yellow wire and substitute it with the black. This is going down to the condenser. That's all I'm doing here. I won't be able to film it because I can't do it with one hand, but just this is going into that the, with the yellows. We'll see if it works. We got a break somewhere. Yellow wire is broken and shortened somewhere. All right, I got the black with the yellow and I've got the black with the yellow on the condenser downstairs well. So we'll see. Being up here on the third floor too, I just hope they have it hooked up on the junction because they usually do junctions like on the second or, or first floor. So far, so good. The wire that I switched up there goes out to the condenser, so leave the yellow in the yellow slot here. This is the reversing valve. So if I didn't have a short with the yellow wire, I would put the reversing valve in there. And if it's shorted then, I would go down and ohm out the reversing valve. But we're still running. It's been about five minutes. I decided to swap out the yellow wire and put in the black. Yellow wire's got a break somewhere. We're up on the third floor, so who knows where it is. All right, dudes, we're still running. It's been about five minutes. I mean, it was shorting out pretty quick. Sometimes it would run for two minutes or so, then short out. Sometimes it would be immediate and short out, but it's been about five minutes longer than it's been running. I'll show you what I did here. I just took the, uh, the yellow wire totally out of the, the loop and substituted for the black wire that wasn't being used. I think we got it. We're gonna try to clean all this mess up here. I think the uh, landscapers tried to get away with one here. So we'll clean that up. I'm not gonna film that board and stuff. All right, cool, we'll go button it back up. Yeah. This is Hyatt, we're training with him. Say hello, Hyatt. What's up? All right, dudes, it's been running for about 10 minutes. I'm pretty pretty confident now to walk away because it was shortened pretty quick after it started up and uh, the short pro tool man I love this thing I'll leave a link to one in the description below in this video where you can go get you one have it delivered to your house the short pro tool it just it just keeps you from having to blow through fuses you just hook this baby up and the lights on you got a short when it shuts off the shorter sticks and I pulled the short tool out, pop a new fuse in there. Man, this is wild, man. Who knows where that break is? Three flights of stairs, three apartments, you'd have to go search. And people pack these closets just full of stuff, so who knows? Probably got an old metal fishing rod just resting on the yellow thermostat wire. All right, let me button it up. All right, I got the T-stat wire back up and you use the yellow wire in the yellow slot. You don't use the, the black. The only black we switched out was on the wire coming out of the air handler and down to the condenser. This is going from here to the air handler. So you can still use the yellow here. All right, it's all buttoned up. The supply vents are blowing cold. It's been running for about 10 minutes now. I'm pretty confident to walk away. 
it was running for like two minutes and then it would shut off and then it would shut off immediately it was just a brain smasher but we just had to sw switch out the old yellow wire for the black wire yellow's got to break somewhere I think this one's good to go and again if you're interested in a short pro tool the link is in the description below on this video where you can go get you one alright thank you all for watching the Dirty Maintenance Show